everybody, it's Adele and welcome to my channel Sew for Serenity. On my channel I talk to you about my love for sewing, dressmaking, fabric patterns, general sewing chit chat and also you know a little bit of life chit chat as well. So if that's something that sounds of interest to you then keep watching. Welcome back to all my regular viewers and welcome to if you're new here and I hope you enjoy my vlog. This vlog is a little bit different, it's a, one of my fabric store tours and a mini fabric haul from those um, visits. Um, I put out some questions on my community page after I went and visited the Guthrie and Garney, Garney store um, to see if it's something that you would like to see more of and it was a resounding yes, resounding yes to go and visit these fabric stores. I don't think everybody has got fabric stores very close to them, especially with a lot of fabric stores moving to online. Um, they seem to be few and far between, especially near me anyway. I don't know what it's like for everybody else. Um, and at the weekend, I had the opportunity to go and visit um, Leicestershire to visit some friends. And b before I visited them and met them for lunch, I had a couple of hours to kill. So I thought, why not visit a couple of these local fabric stores and share some of the footage from what those shops look like, share my experience of shopping in that store. And also, if I purchase any fabric, show you. I mean, as if I wasn't going to purchase any fabric. <laughs> It'd be rude not to. So the first shop that I went to was a shop called The Sewing Cafe UK. Now, this is a fabric shop that I'd never purchased from before. I had looked at their website a few times because they are one of the lovely sponsors that is sponsoring mine and Crystal from my social threads, April Sewing Challenge, which is, if you didn't know, hashtag selfless sew, selfless sew April 22 which is all around sewing items of items for people that aren't yourself. So friends, family, charity, pets, etc. If you want to find out more details about that, please check out my Instagram page. So once I knew these were going to be one of our sponsors, I was even more keen to go and actually visit them and, and see them in person. So I went to Hinkley, which is where the Sewing Cafe is, is based. I know Hinkley quite well because I grew up around there um, and I used to work in Hinkley Town Centre. Um, and went to find this fabric store. Now, I believe this fabric cafe, sewing cafe, has been open for 10 years, so it's a well established fabric store and it's run by the lovely Faye and Becky. And so when you read on the website about the reasons behind why they set up the sewing cafe, it was basically because they couldn't find a social and inspirational space to do their sewing, so they thought, what the hell, let's set it up ourselves, which I think is really lovely. They want to make sewing fun and accessible for everybody, whether you're a beginner or a experienced sewer. Um, and they offer a range of workshops, which I believe took a bit of a backseat when COVID was in full swing. But now things are opening up again. Um, they are starting back up some of those workshops and um, they have some all the information's on their website and I'll put a link to all of that below. But some of the some of the um, workshops are bag making and beginner dressmaking, all the kind of different range of, of, of sewing workshops that you can think of. They offer regular social sessions as well, um, you know, and they also have sew by the hour, so you can just go and rent a machine and get to see, get to meet other sewists and get to, you know, get on with projects that maybe you might need a little bit of support with or um, help from other sewers. So I thought that's a really lovely idea and I believe they, they have like, it is a cafe so they can give you treat, uh, I think sweet treats like cakes etc. Um, but I don't know how much of that is, is in operation at the moment. Um, so yeah, it was a, it was really, got, they've got a really lovely website and I had seen some fabric on their website that had caught my eye and um, that I was keen to see in the flesh. So um, the parking was really great. Um, Hinkley City, Hinkley Town Centre has quite a lot of parking, and I actually managed to get some off, off um, some street parking, and it was no return within an hour, and you got an hour free parking, so that was perfect. I have took some video footage, and I'll talk you through that um, while I show it you now. So, so when you first come into the store, um, there's two sections, and when you first come into the store, the first um, part of the store is all the craft cotton um, and quilting cotton um, so I'm just showing you this footage now you can see it's all arranged beautifully the kind of vibe that I would describe this store as is kind of vintage summer fate vibes it was like you know a lot of wooden furniture and traditional kind of 
displays and yeah it was it was really beautiful they had all the dashwood studio um cotton in here which you can see there um all the new new ones and she was saying that there, there's going to be a lot more really beautiful dashwood studios cotton coming in so yeah there was loads of, of cotton oh that's Faye there she'll probably shout at me because she said she didn't want to be in the video um yeah so that was when you first walk in the first part of the shop and then you step up to the second part of the shop which is basically um all the jersey sweatshirt well all the dressmaking fabrics really um so in the second room there is a um big table where there's um fabric displayed and i love how they've got it all piled up in kind of columns because it displays it really beautifully I had all the gingham and they have got an absolutely massive double gauze um, display. I mean, they must have had probably about 25 double gauzes and um, they had some beautiful, um, beautiful versions that I haven't actually seen and some that I have seen before. Lots of lovely viscoses. This leopard print one really appealed to me, but I did refrain from buying leopard print viscose anyway. Um, some lovely body on grey and then looks like some of it's actually put into colour palettes as well which I really liked um so mixed up with viscose and sweatshirt and then this is the chambray which was beautiful I really like the leopard print chambray I've looked at that a few times and then this is a lot of the jersey and sweatshirting they actually when I was chatting to Faye she was saying that the jersey is what they kind of pride themselves on and um, their specialty really and the quilting cotton they had all the patterns as well um and haberdashery so yeah I was chatting to Faye and she was absolutely lovely um we we're having a good old natter about sewing about the sewing challenge and yeah she was really lovely warm and welcoming and yeah I really enjoyed that shop I just felt like I could sit down have a cup of tea and a cake and talk about sewing all day but I couldn't I had to move on so um yeah so I did buy some fabric from um the sewing cafe and I purchased three pieces of fabric which I'd like to show you they had a remnant box which I'll show you me digging around in um and it was just a mixture of viscoses, sweatshirting, um, all different, your jersey, etc., and all different lengths. And this length was 90 centimeters, and it's an organic cotton. And you guessed it, it's the leopard print sweatshirting that you know I really like. So I've got a 90 centimeter piece there. I'm probably going to be able to get a jabber out of that, um, or if not. A linden sweatshirt staple that's going to be um, and that's really lovely i really like the green it's in my color palette as we all know and the price on that was 12 pound 60 and it's super soft it's um i didn't want to undo the packet because it looks so nice but it's um soft i think it's exactly the same as my white jarra sweatshirt but in the green colorway i think it's the same make etc um, but yeah, that was lovely. That was £12.60. And then the next one that I purchased was the chambray. Now, this is the chambray that I'd had my eye on on the website, um, but really wanted to have a look and feel, at, feel of it. And it's this beautiful rainbow print chambray. And it's absolutely beautiful. It's so soft and light and it was three pound for half a meter so i got a meter of that so i got that for six pounds and i really want to make alice my two-year-old a beautiful little summer dress in this so that's going to wait for the april challenge for selfless so april and will be part of my plans for that i think and um, that was really lovely really affordable and i am tempted now to get the the leopard print chambray that was on there as well and made myself a nice dress with it but yeah that was really pretty and not too girly just the right amount of girly colors i think and then finally i purchased some sweatshirt in now this i was just a moth to the flame i don't need any more sweatshirt in but it was a in my color of terracotta which I really like and it had sparkle in it so it's this sweatshirt in with lorex in it I'm just trying to get it to focus and it's absolutely stunning that's come up really well it's got a fleece back really soft I've got two meters of this 
and it was £12 a metre and it's absolutely lovely I could just eat it <laughs> it's that delicious in colour so yeah I've got this it's not super stretch yeah it is quite stretchy actually but what I knew would go perfect with this I knew that Andrea beyond the pink door had got some um gold ribbing and coughing so I knew that that would be perfect so I think what I'm going to do with this is make the hug hoodie that's got that um unusual um waistband that kind of I'm not I'm not doing it justice I'll put a picture in um and I want to use the gold um cuffing for the neckband and the waistband and I think that would be absolutely beautiful um and just a bit unusual and different I'm going to make the hug hoodie but without the hood I'm not really bothered about a hood I think the sweatshirts are more comfy for me so yeah that was that was that was quite expensive I mean that was 24 pounds for it but I just think it's so beautiful um and it'd be nice if I had a little bit left over so I could make Alice a matching um a matching kind of top to go with this because I think those colours go really well so that was my um purchase from the sewing cafe um as I say I can't recommend that shop enough obviously if you're not local to Hinkley then they do you can kind of go on their website and um they've got some beautiful fabrics and they display them really well so I'll put all the links to what I've purchased and um their website so please check them out but the next place that I went to is one that I had um I'd put out a vote to all of my subscribers around where they'd like me to visit for one of these sewing, where they'd like me to visit for one of these fabric store tours. And I put a choice between Oh So Crafty and Sew Your Own Wardrobe, which are both in the Leicestershire area. Um, and um, Sew Your Own Wardrobe just won by a little bit. Um, so that's why I chose to go there. I don't think Oso oh Crafty is open every day either, so I think I'd have to schedule. I do want to go there, but I think I'd have to schedule that um, around their opening times. So, so your own wardrobe um, is so so your own wardrobe is in Ashby de la Zouche, which is a lovely little village in um, Leicestershire. It's quite quaint, quite market town, um, fairly affluent, I think. Um, and yeah it's, it, it was heaving when I went there on Saturday um, lunchtime so I've got some footage here of when I approached sew your own wardrobe so I could show you what it looked like from the street view they've got a lovely um, window display with like tulips hanging down and um, beautiful florals in the window um, so the concept behind this shop is the vision of Alison Smith who is renowned for her school of sewing and her sewing book um, what I really liked, and I've got some footage to show you, is when you walk in, um, the hang on one second. What I really like about this um shop is that the fabrics are all arranged in colour palette, as you can see from this footage. So all of this at the viscoses aren't together the jerseys aren't together they're all mixed up in the colors and the theory behind that is it's to help you make plans around your wardrobe so what things would go together so there's an example here when you get to the navies and mustards in a second where they've got the corduroy um next to some blue and mustard um jersey and that would make a lovely top and skirt combo so it's really to give you that inspiration around what things will work well together to make outfits which I think is really, really nice. Um, they had a remnant bin over on the right there, which I did have a little rummage around on. Yeah, you can just see it there. They have patterns, they have fabrics, they have haberdashery. They also specialise in lingerie and bra making um, fabrics as well. And they also do workshops and... Um, in-person workshops and also online workshops they've got an online bra making workshop for 40 pounds which i think is quite good um something i'd like to look at one day so i'm showing you this footage this is the back room where all the patterns are they have such an extensive range of paper patterns and i think that back room through there is all the lingerie um materials and haberdashery um yeah these ribbons and zips and um all the kind of stuff that you need notions etc cuffing 
um, interfacing, etc. So it was loads and loads of, it's one-stop shop really. They had the Mar Mariflex, um, the new Mariflex Gutterman thread, which is the thread that you can use straight stitch on jersey. Um, that stretches they had liberty fabrics that were on um, special offer they had all lining fabric which is being shown here um, loads of occasion wear and then they had a room downstairs which was a bit of a bargain basement which I went down to of course um, and yeah the the owner of the shop wasn't there there was just the only people that were there were people that work there but they were really really lovely again just like the sewing cafe just happy to engage in conversation with you when I said that I was vlogging would I might would it be able to film she was like yes what's your Instagram handle we'll follow you and that was really nice and and you know I felt a bit awkward filming but obviously it's great to get out there people's shops shops and give tours and stuff so I shouldn't be scared to ask really because they were really really welcoming and and let me film and were helpful and were chatting away to me so that was really nice so I bought three pieces of fabric I actually was quite restrained for me I bought three pieces of fabric and all three of those were either remnants or in the sale so I thought I did quite well and I also saw another piece of fabric that I restrained myself from buying but I feel like I do need to get it but we'll see. So the first bit was a remnant piece and it was this lovely um, windmill modal jersey, which is so stretchy. Um, well, it's just super stretchy, super soft. And it's got this it's pink and this beautiful windmill. Now I have seen this in First for Fabric. They had it in a mint, which I really liked. Um, and this was quite a large remnant piece, actually. I think it was, ooh, I think it's a meter. Was it a meter and it was ten pounds yeah a meter for ten pounds so again i would like to make alice something in this i think it'll be adorable um in some kind of little um leggings and top set or a dress and that's again going to go in my april sewing plans but yeah that i thought that was really lovely quite girly for me to choose pink but a lovely fabric the second fabric that I purchased, I'm just looking at my notes here. So I bought two meters of this and I think it's absolutely beautiful. So I got two meters for 12 pounds and it's this beautiful flower print. Now the light blue is not in my color palette, but all the other colors inside it, like the ready reds and the oranges are in my color palette. But you know, when you just love a fabric, I wanted it and it was a bargain so I bought it and this is going to bake probably a, I'm going to probably make the patina blouse when I get chance maybe I think that'd look really nice um, but I have got two meters so maybe maybe I might make a dress or something but I was thinking patina um, but that is a lovely fabric I hope you all agree it's got a lovely drape and two meters for 12 pounds you can't really moan at that um, at all so yeah that was one of my purchases it's coming up lovely I mean I just love that coral colour and then finally I purchased this which was reduced from £20 a metre to £13.50 a metre and it is this beautiful I don't even know what you call it it's like a coating I suppose very Chanel like it reminded me of like a Chanel jacket and it's got this beautiful I don't know if it's going to pick up the pink but it's got a kind of pink oh yeah it's coming golds and I thought this would make a lovely um jacket of some description um and I just got two meters because I just thought two meters should be enough to get like a boxy jacket out of and it probably will need to be lined as well because it is quite see-through but yeah I love that I think it's gorgeous and I wouldn't have purchased this unless I'd seen it in the flesh this is one of the ones that you know once you saw it once I saw it I was kind of like a magpie it was like glittering at me saying buy me buy me so I did buy me <laughs> um so that was lovely so as I say, that one was quite expensive, really, it was £27, but in the grand scheme of things, for something that's a coat or a jacket, I thought, and, and it's quite special and going out like, I thought that'd be lovely to have in my stash for um, making an occasion coat of some description, but I don't know what pattern yet. So yes, yeah, so that was from Sew Your Own Wardrobe. The other lovely thing that you get at Sew Your Own Wardrobe is a handwritten receipt, which I thought was quite lovely, um, and also 
they do a loyalty card as well so every time you spend over 25 pounds you get a stamp and um when you spend when you get all four stamps you get 10 percent off your next order so i thought that was really lovely i mean i usually spend for at least over 25 pounds on fabric when i go fabric shopping so that's a nice little touch as well it means that you know you're more likely to go back aren't you the piece of fabric that i can't get out of my head is an is is basically exactly the same as this but in a different colorway i'll put a picture in if i can see it on the website but it was basically a gray sweatshirt but the but the glitter lurex in it lurex is that how you say it was um rainbow effect oh it was to do, it reminded me of mermaid if a mermaid wore a sweatshirt this is the fabric they'd wear it was it was beautiful so i'll put a picture in um but yeah i am tempted to buy that i just need to have a look on the website but yeah i think it's probably going to be quite expensive but maybe i'll get away with a meter and a half i don't know but yeah i really like that and you know when you just can't get a fabric out of your mind i think if it plays on my mind for much longer i will have to purchase it because i've not seen it anywhere else in any other shops so you know that really appeals to me that it's kind of like you know not many people have got it in the sewing community so yeah so they were my fabric tours i hope you like them and found it interesting um I really enjoyed doing it and I think it's really important to support these local businesses in person if you can um, and I'm really keen to do some more um, fabric store tours where I can so um, yeah if you've liked this video and you want to see more let me know put in the comments what you found interesting please check out these websites and give them some support and follow them on Instagram because you know that's what this sewing community is about isn't it about supporting these independent traders that have been surviving through a really tough time and now that we can get back out there if we can let's get back out there and go into these shops and get to speak to people i think that's one of the things i really enjoyed is actually going out and having a chat to somebody about sewing that's as passionate as i am about it which let's face it is everybody in the sewing community so yeah so i hope you've enjoyed it that's all from me for today um, and yeah, if you've liked this video, give it a like and I'll see you next time. Bye.